This is OCAMA TV. Wahoo's is a maverick restaurant chain in the world of fast casual dining. With more than 65 stores in seven states, this active lifestyle eatery brand continues to blaze its own trail with a non-traditional marketing approach that separates Wahoo's from its competition. We caught up with Ed Santos, creative and marketing director for Wahoo's, as we go inside the brand for strategy, insight, and perspective that help drive Wahoo's success. As far as the culture of Wahoo's, we, we're about, we're basically about action sports. It originated with the surf industry and the youth culture. Well, Wahoo's is 25 years now. And all of the skaters and surfers back in the days, they're all grown now, they have families. So these local customers were very dedicated. They're married now with kids. They, they come back to Wahoo's. You know, their kids are growing up and usually when families go out to eat, they always ask their kids first, right? The kids make the choice, right? What do you want to eat? What do the kids say? We want Wahoo's. Food's healthy, you know, the food, the price is really, really good and there's a lot of value to it and the parents are happy. There's a lot of stickers, stickers to be put on the walls. The kids love that. We have TVs that play surf and skate videos, you know, and it's a very casual environment where the kids can be kids and run around and have fun and at the same time, parents can, can enjoy their dinner and a beer and just, and just kick back and relax. The decor at Wahoo's originally started when you know, when, when you have a very small budget, you're opening your, your only restaurant, you have no idea where it's going to go. You know, the brothers had pretty much bought the most discounted paint that was available and they painted their walls. That's where the original pink and turquoise came from. You know, there was no game plan of where it was going. It was all by accident. Well, back in, in the early, early days, Wahoo's, when they opened Wahoo's, they were very, very lucky that they, that location they opened just happened to be in the backyard of of these small little surf companies starting out named Quicksilver and Billabong. Well, what had happened was Quicksilver had, or Billabong had come in and says, hey, do you mind if we put a banner up on your wall? And at first they thought, no, we don't want to put that, well, I don't know, but, but since Billabong brought so many customers, sure, go ahead, put a banner up. You know, a few days later, Quicksilver, hey, why do they have a banner? Can we put a banner up here? Well, sure, so they put up a banner and they had no idea what they were creating. And of course, you know, in those days, you know, the only way that they graffiti things in the surf industry was by stickers. So they started putting stickers. Oh, don't put stickers up, you're gonna ruin the paint. But you don't want to upset the customers, right? So one sticker came up, 10 stickers came up, 50 stickers came up. Next thing you know, you know, Wing and, Wing and Ed came up with this idea of, hey, let's start putting their stuff up, let them. And that's how it was, that's how it was born. This is OCAMA TV, a JSP Creative Media production in association with the Orange County Chapter of the American Marketing Association.